Friday is a Christian holiday commemorating the crucifixion and death of Jesus Christ at Calvary. Uh, this morning in the Oceana region, we drove around and we have seen that churches uh, like Elsin, Anglican, uh, mm-hmm. as well as uh, Pentecostal churches and others were full to the Oceana region. Could you just tell us the significance of this important Christian holiday? Reverend, thank you so much for coming through for NBC. Thank you. Uh, we we are on a Good Friday, a historic day in a Christian life and the life of the church. Uh, this day, the Passover, the day of the death of uh, our Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ, it's very important to Christians from ever since until uh, today. Uh, we have been here for for the past week. We started last Friday to to read and uh, to follow how Christ has suffered uh, in order to, to to save the world from its sins. Uh, we had uh, people of all generations, uh, from uh, children. Uh, the young people uh, and adults uh, that really indicates that people uh, still see the importance of uh, uh, this uh, day, the Passover. Uh, like uh, we are in the church service uh, currently, the church is uh, packed to its capacity. Uh, Christians have come uh, to, to worship uh, their Lord uh, in the remembrance of the death of, uh, uh, of our Lord. Reverend, uh, perhaps what is the take, take home message for Christians and uh, the world at large during this Good Friday? Yes, of course, yes. If we are talking about the death of Christ, uh, who died for our sins. The message, uh, like the sermon of the of today, was focusing on uh, believing in Christ in order to be saved. Uh, the repentance is uh, the number one uh, thing we must employ as Christians in order to to receive uh, the salvation. Uh, the Apostle Paul. Uh, according to Romans 1, uh, verse 16, uh, writes, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Therefore, I have uh, a call to believers and the Christians. Please, we must uh, live according to the Christ life. Uh, we must live uh, faith in this world. Uh, that is uh, the message the emphasis of today's uh, message according to the gospel.